Concealed my eye using the NYX Milk Crayon Pencil and I just set that in place with the dry beauty blender that I got from Walmart with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. And I'm going to be using my NYX Ultimate Palette again and I'm going to be taking this shade down here as a transition shade. And now that I have that down, the next shade that I'm going to go in with is going to be this orange. And I'm going to apply that just a little bit beneath the transition shade. Using the same brush, I'm going to deepen my crease with this orange here. Now that I have that down, I'm going to cut my crease. And to do that, I'm gonna be using the LA Girl Concealer, and this is in the shade Warm Honey. For the black shade that I'm going to be using, I'm going to go into my Cargo's Cosmetics Chill in the 6 eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to be using the shade right here, and it's called Hockey. And I'm going to be applying that with this flat brush here. I'm just gonna kind of pack this on, but I'm not gonna drag it all the way out because I still want the orange to be around it. And now I'm gonna take this brush here and I'm gonna blend out those edges. So the glitter that I used came from Walmart. You guys can go check out my um, last video and I kind of discussed the details in there. It just came from out of this um, glitter pack right here. And the two shades that I mixed was this orange shade and this black shade. And I did most orange and then just a little bit of black because I didn't want it to be too dark. And this is the color that I came up with. I'm just gonna coat my eye with some glue and then apply the glitter. If you're gonna use this glitter, you really wanna make sure that you put some powder on your face because in my last video, I didn't and they got on my face and that shit did not wanna come off. It came off when I washed my face, but not just dusting away from my makeup. Okay. Now that that's done, I'm just gonna go back in with that black. And I'm going to apply some orange around the black. Blend it in together. And apply some more black. gonna apply my lashes off camera and I will be back okay so I am going to attempt to do the cut lip thing for a Halloween look this is my first time ever creating a Halloween look so 
that goes without being said this is my first time attempting to do this so I am going to use cotton balls and duo glue because that's literally all I have to try to achieve this look besides toilet tissue but I'm not gonna waste my tissue on that okay I need all my tissue so I'm just gonna put this on my face and apply some cotton. I'm feeling, ooh, let me see. I hope that this goes as planned. Now that my throat and my face is all cut up and shit, we are going to prime my face and I'm gonna be using um, e.l.f. I'm a mess. Put a bit that I have. I'm just applying my favorite foundation, which is the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. What's well, my favorite next to um, Too Faced? And I'm gonna apply this all over my face with this brush. Oh, it's gonna drip. And I'm gonna blend it out. I definitely added too much cotton. Seems to be too thick or something, I don't know. Just gonna piece some of it away. Just cut the cotton, just cut in between it. So, this is kind of difficult because it's cotton, so it's not really easy to just pick up and go through because it's like that's because of how I pieced it together. Maybe I should have just did like long strips of it. I think that would have made it easier. I think it might even be easier to use more tweezers. Just to pull it apart. Oh, yeah. So it's definitely um, get more control if you use tweezers. I'm just gonna, I'm actually gonna just dip my brush into this blood and I got this from Party City, I believe, Red Blood Spray. And I'm just gonna mess, just apply this any type of way. I am just gonna take um, this brush and I'm gonna go in with a dark purple and I'm gonna use it's going to be coming out of that same cargo palette and I'm going to take this one right here just apply it messy again a 
because I really don't know what the hell I'm doing. I recommend you do this before the blood because, yeah, I'm getting this blood all over my eyeshadow. To highlight and conceal, I'm going to be using LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Pond. So I'm just going to mix it with warm honey. And then to contour, I'm going to be using dark cocoa. Concealer. So I'm gonna blend this away and then I'm gonna set my face, set my nose contour with the L'Oreal True Match in the shade Neutral. Highlight, I'm gonna be using the Milani in Strobe Light. And then for underneath my eyelids, I'm going to be using that orange eyeshadow, this one here. And I don't care too much if this is neat or not. I kind of want it messy. That's why I'm going to go in with this type of angled brush. Now I'm just going to add some black liner and then a coat of mascara to my lower lashes. So I'm just going to outline with the brown lip pencil and then I'm going to be using NYX Bedtime Flirt. Okay, I am going to go in with some more blood. a little bit of black to my lower lash line. I'm gonna look a little bit more crazy. 